Welcome to Vlogmas 2020, baby. I can't believe we're here. It kind of felt like Christmas Eve last night. I couldn't sleep very well. I was like in a constant state of like half sleep and having really weird dreams. And I feel like when I was a kid and it was Christmas Eve, that was like how you slept. Like you couldn't really sleep. And when you finally did, you were like half asleep because you were just too excited. So I think I was just too excited to start this or anxious, probably just anxious. Anyway, this coffee is gonna be exactly the antidote <laughs> that I need. Also, this mug is far and away my favorite Christmas mug I own. And I am pretty sure I got it at like Big Lots years ago for like $3. Side note, if you have a Big Lots near you, they are the place for like three to $5 really cool mugs. We've got a somewhat messy room here as per usual, but here's our cast of characters. We've got Pinocchio, the Beagle, Velwigo Boy, like five and a half years old. Willie likes tweets, Velwe Codway. My husband's upstairs showering, Tyler, and then my daughter, who is two, I don't know how many of you guys are new, you know what I mean? So I'm wanting to make sure we all know who I'm talking about here. Uh, my daughter, Genevieve, we call Gigi, she's two and a half and she is still sleeping and it is 9.30 in the morning. And the thing is, we all, the entire household was awake at like 5 a.m. today. Uh, Pinocchio was awake, he didn't wanna be in his cage, so we let him in bed with us. Tyler was awake, I was awake. We looked on our little baby monitor, our daughter was awake. We're like, what is going on? But then we all fell back asleep, so there we are. <laughs> Good start to the day. Jessica said, oh, sorry, she's still sleeping. Jessica said, uh, let's run downstairs and film you so you know you're in the beginning of the vlog. <laughs> And as she was running down, spilled coffee. Guys, I told you it's like Christmas Eve. I'm too excited. I didn't sleep, and now I'm running to the fast and spilling coffee everywhere. <laughs> I am about to go run some errands. I still got wet hair. Getting the shower sweats. I'm running. Yeah, I was like, the shower sweats are very real. Oh, shower! Everyone who showers, which I hope is most of you. <laughs> is be like, oh, I know about the shower sweats. When you get out of a hot shower, and then you're like, oh my gosh, you get dressed and you run around, and like especially during winter when the heat's on. Anyway, it's enough about shower sweats. Um, I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not as bad as meat sweats, though. Those oh, are way those worse. Are way worse. <laughs> um, so I've got some errands to run. I'm going to go pick up our knives because um, they are getting sharpened. And we have like a bunch of blankets we're getting rid of that we're going to drop off at a uh, Humane Society and yeah. drop off a package, all kinds of stuff. So oh, yeah. that's where I'm going to be. Maybe I'll vlog along the way. You're we'll so see. cute. This we'll is see. Tyler, if you're new, too. Oh, yeah. Hi. I'm My Tyler. handsome Let's bride. <laughs> this is a. <laughs> Did you get okay. it? Anyway, yeah. All right. See you later. Bye. As I precariously set my coffee right here, hopefully I don't spill it. This, by the way, was a recommendation from a lot of you guys. Last time we had carpet issues. <laughs> we're always having carpet issues. So we're going to give it a try. I just got out of the shower and I think someone's awake. You're talking to Minnie on your phone? Good morning. This little one has been learning. Yep. It's all gone. Thank you. She's been learning to pull toys in from this bin here and she'll like jimmy them up and then grab them from above. It's pretty incredible. You're all dressed, aren't you? Yeah. What are you wearing? I'm wearing dress. Yeah, what else? A pants. Yeah? A purple one. Yeah. So I just tried for the first time the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. I think it's a little light for me. I got the shade uh, ST3 Balos. So, um, Boy, I mean, I need to powder my face, there's no doubt. And of course, underneath this, I had a vitamin C serum and a moisturizer SPF, so there's a lot going on. But I put two layers on it, it says to apply it with your fingers, and I did, and it covered a little bit, but I did put concealer on, and even still, I'm like, I still feel like I need a little more coverage. So I'm gonna keep messing with it. This is day one, you know what I mean? I feel like I'll get the hang of it, because people freaking love that stuff. The other thing is, I'm like, do I need to get a different shade? I feel like I am really struggling lately to order the darn right shade for like anything. My baby girl, he's up on the bed sleeping. Can you see him? Yeah. Mm hmm He's nice and cozy. I get it. You're gonna get him? She's eating strawberries. Walking around like a little teenager with her strawberry cup. But boom, the power of powder foundation. I was able to even my skin tone out in like 10 seconds and get a lot of that shine down. So that is awesome. This is the Makeup Forever one. R220 is my shoot. Time for a little good news, bad news. Good news, uh, got our knives picked up and also, so we have Cutco knives and about every 18 months or give or take, I always bring them in and have them sharpened because they have a lifetime guarantee. Um, and so not, hashtag not sponsored by Cutco, but we love our Cutco knives and they're super sharp, but every so often you can bring them in, they'll ship them back to the factory 
and have them all sharpened, you know, polish them, all that kind of stuff. So I got my mom's knives and I got our knives. Um, so it's nice to have our, uh, our, our knives back. The bad news is I went to drop off the blankets there for the Humane Society because we looked up online and said you can drop off blankets and all that kind of stuff. We're like, that's great because we just, weird, we had a weird amount of blankets. I don't know how we had so many blankets, but we're getting rid of them. And so I go to Google and I go beep, bop, boop, and I look up the address for the Humane Society. It says drop off at blah, 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 blah. North Michigan Road. I said, perfect. I copied, I pasted it into maps. And suddenly 26 minutes down the road, I realized that I am in the middle of a neighborhood and I'm like, this is something's not right here. <laughs> Turn around and go back. And I realized that I put East Michigan Road, even though I copied and pasted it, maps thought I was wrong. I've never been to this Humane Society before, which is probably why I don't know where it is. So the, uh, that's my, that's what I'm doing this morning, wasting a bunch of time driving. The good news is I am listening to Failure is an Option by H. John Benjamin, uh, which by the way, normally when I read a book, I, I do the real book, like on my Kindle or in a real book and the audio book. So when I'm driving or whatever, so I usually go back and forth between them both. Uh, this is one where I highly recommend if you like H. John Benjamin, if you like Archer or if you like, uh, Bob's Burgers or any of those you've got to listen to this book because it's obvious it's him reading it and it's just it's perfection it is so good and it's a quick read yeah it's only a couple hours long like five hours it's not necessarily uh family oriented so if you have kids or anything like that you probably want to listen to it on your own but it is hysterical and it's just it's h john benjamin it's so his style comedy obviously so i am now going to drive the 18 minutes in the opposite direction of the direction i was just going to try and find the humane society to drop off these blankets well this girl is having an interesting like breakfasty lunch she had a pet part of a packet earlier and some fruit but she wanted some hummus and actually we've never tried this tribe everything hummus oh i'm making toast too I, well, I don't know. Maybe I have tried it. I don't know. But holy moly, it looks so good. So she's going to have some with some oyster crackers as she requested. But I'm having some toast just because it's like 11 and I'm not quite ready for like lunch, lunch. But it's this, one of my favorites, Dave's Killer Bread, the white bread done right. And they have these thin sliced ones. So each of them are only 70 calories. It's kind of awesome, really. So on the docket for today, now that I'm like showered and somewhat ready, I need to like, this is the problem with using a waiver. It never looks right at the top. So I feel like I always have to pin it or something so anyway but i need to do some dishes we got some clean ones we've been really good about always running our dishwasher overnight because then in the morning we can put everything away and then any dirty dishes throughout the day go straight in typically i mean it's not perfect but it's been helping a lot so i need to put those away and now we have dirty dishes to go in i also need to edit a video today we don't have grandparents watching her today but we should tomorrow so That'll be great. So it's going to be a kind of habsy work day for me and for Tyler. So we'll see. Really what that means is we're both going to work when she naps and that'll be that. <laughs> She's riding her little bike. But I figure I'm going to pop the news on and watch a little bit of the news too. What, what about your dress? Yeah. Tell us about it. Yes, you like all gear. But it goes there. Wow, very cool. Costco. <laughs> what else did you do today? Huh, why? Uh, news. So we watched the news. <laughs> she has weirdly, so we watched a lot of the news like during the election, of course, like everyone else in the world, or at least in the US, I'm sure. And we, <laughs> we, asked, <laughs> we would tell her we wanted to watch the news. We were like, no, Gigi, we're not going to watch your show right now. Maybe later we're going to watch the news. And so she got so used to it that now when it's on, she's like, oh, the news. I'm like, oh my gosh. You have requested to watch the news a few times too, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. You're such a good, she's being so good. You're playing so much. What else did you do today? Okay. <laughs> I promise she's done stuff other than just watching the news. You ever find yourself just wandering around the kitchen? Cause you're not totally hungry anymore, but you're like, but I could eat like a little more. But you're like, all I want is stuff that's like not great for me, like chocolate. And you're just like wondering like, do I eat the chocolate? Do I not? <laughs> okay. Gigi, oh, what are we gonna do? Something special. We've been using the term special with her a lot. Like, okay, oh, this is very special. So at Aldi, a few weeks ago, I got these advent calendars, one for Miss Gigi and one for Mr. Pinocchio. Look how cute this is. All right, so Miss Gigi, we need to find the number one here. Why did they make it so hard? Okay, what's on there? Where's the Christmas tree? I can't. Yeah, what's at the top? A star. Do you see Santa? Yeah. What does Santa say? Okay. Good. We gotta open. Okay. <laughs> that one up. What is that? 
chocolate. Chocolate. Pinocchio, you stay back. You get yours, Pinocchio. Hey, stay no, back. No chocolate, Pinocchio. No, we'll do the next one tomorrow. This is your very first experience with these. The hardest part is the waiting. Remember being a kid, oh, yeah. like, all you wanted was that next piece of chocolate, man. One never cut it. <laughs> and it was never any good. No. It wasn't even good chocolate. I just needed it. It never is, but I need it. Yummy, <laughs> chocolate. Okay, my turn, my turn. All right, Pinocchio. All right, Noki, Ready? now you get your advent calendar. Find a number one. <laughs> Here, we can turn on the light. Actually, <laughs> he pointed right to it. It's a complete coincidence. <laughs> He's a treat savant. He's like, that's one. I know that one. Treat savant. <laughs> Word savant is horribly underused. Highly underused. <laughs> oh, Pinocchio is sitting. good. It's in plastic, so it stays fresh because he cares. Yeah. Why does the child's one not saved in plastic? <laughs> you get fresh, but the dog one is saved in plastic. This is kind of funny, right? Oh, there's more than one. Dang. Oh, boy, Noki. <laughs> Here, I'll get it. He said, I don't, I don't know how to get there. Good boy. Chris. I did a little bit of holiday decorating up here for my videos. I actually filmed one yesterday, which is my first one with this up. So I stole a pillow from downstairs we had. <laughs> uh, it's really cute. I guess either side is cute. And then uh, just got like my candle. This is my normal tart warmer. So many of you guys asked where I got this. I got it at Walmart like five years ago. So there's tons like this that are like kind of jeweled and cute. But I've just had it for years and I cannot believe it's still working. Little pine cone tree. And then this little tree we actually used to put outside. But it always blew over in the wind because we had two of them. Anyway, so now it's inside. And it's such a cute little like ready to go tree. And I think it looks pretty cute in the background. We'll see. I'm about to sit down and edit the video. I am talking so fast. But I've also been filming from this direction facing this way more often. I used to have all this stuff here and it would face this way. And so now it's just a little bit of a different angle, different lighting, but we'll see how I like it. But for Christmas time, that's definitely probably how I'll keep doing it. So on the docket for today, I've got my second cup of coffee here. I need to edit a gift guide video and actually it is a sponsored one. So typically with sponsored videos, what you would do is you have to have it sent to the brand who's sponsoring it a couple of days ahead of time, usually like 48 hours ahead of time for approval, basically for them to say like, oh, can you add this promo code? I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna have time to film since we do have kind of shorter days. Tyler's eating some lunch downstairs and playing with her. We try to limit how much TV she watches so that we can very strategically use it. Meaning like when we both need to be getting something done, we'll be like, okay, now she can watch Daniel Tiger, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, whatever. So that I think I told him, I'm like, she hasn't watched any TV yet. So this would be a good time if you need to answer emails for work. Okay. So I, she needed a new hat and gloves and they just came in the mail. <laughs> can we take them off? No. She really likes them on. She's trying to eat her snack with her little mittens. She reminds me of the kid from um, Cheaper by the Dozen that's always wearing oh, like the yeah. green frog hat. Can she like run away? Something like that, yeah. You want them off? Okay, let's take them off. I just wanted to try them on. So we also ordered these like little fairy lights to put on like garlands that we have up that aren't lit. Like there's one right there. So I thought this might be nice. They're actually much smaller than I thought. We're going to see once they actually have batteries in them. We'll see what they look like. They might need to be returned if it doesn't work. But they each are like sets of five. So we have like 10 here. I'm like, whoops, that might be too many. So one of our Christmas gifts for Genevieve is here. And so I need to hide it. I've been hiding everything in my office closet here. But it looks so cute. It's an easel, but it's tabletop and it folds up. Because our fear was to have to have this huge easel out. And when she's not super interested in it, you know, just to have it sitting out and taking up space. So I think when I was reading the reviews, you can do paper. So there's a paper roll, there's dry erase, and then there's a chalkboard on the other side. So it can do all three, but it doesn't come with like anything to actually draw with. So I did, we did end up buying those separately, but it comes with like a little eraser, I guess, and like a clip. So I thought this was really cute. And it was a, I think we got it for $15 on Black Friday on Target site, but it's originally 30. I don't think 30 is that bad for this either. So we're both feeling tired. Like we just laid Gigi like down. Nappies. Yeah. <laughs> nappies. I thought you said happies. I was like, no. <laughs> so we were talking not, about. Not diapers and British slang. Not, yeah, nappies. not that kind of nappy. So we were what talking about. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. We were talking about how we're wanting to stay healthy this December. And it's really easy for us when the weather changes. We both like to run outside, but... Well, and the holidays. I mean, come on. Well, and that, yeah, we're like... going to be baking cookies. We're going to be, you know what I mean? So trying to think of like, how can we still kind of stay on top of feeling good? And for me, like when I go a few weeks without working out or like eating well-ish, 
I feel awful. Like it's I just generally feel awful. Two weeks not working out, you gain 10 pounds. Four weeks working out, you lose five. So it's <laughs> completely unacceptable. You're losing five pounds in four weeks. I'm not, <laughs> I wish. So we were like, what can we do? So what, it, what was your idea? Well, okay, so in November I did a push-up challenge that I just did myself. I did 100 push-ups a day, and I ended it yesterday, and I was 225 short. So I'm going to try and do the 225 today. But, no. sorry, that was really just me wanting to brag about how I did it. I know, that, that was what my face was about. Just forget it. That's just a story about you almost finishing a marathon. <laughs> Superstore reference, anyway. Okay. Uh, I already made an office reference. I wonder how many people caught it. Anyway, go ahead. So, yeah, what do we want to do? We talked about doing something, like, every day, like, doing, like... Uh, you had an idea the other day I thought well, was Well, I was going to do, like, a, since I did the 100 push-ups a day <laughs> in November. Gosh. Go on. Doing, like, 50-50. So, doing, like, 50 push-ups and 50 sit-ups or something like that every day. Yeah, my apps could use the help. <laughs> <laughs> I like that idea. I was also thinking, because we had talked about, like... Could we do it where we just do something fitnessy every oh, single day? That, yeah. But in theory, that would do it. So either do that or like a minimum of, of like a 5K run or a 30 minute workout. Like one of those three things. Yeah. So minimum like a 30 minute something every single day. Yeah. Maybe some days it'll just be a walk outside. <laughs> so Pinocchio I mean, boy would love that. What's the fun if you can't cut corners? <laughs> For those of you that don't know, uh, shameless plug for my channel, <laughs> I'm currently uploading the videos from our Alaska trip, which was back in May of 2019. Um, but I wanted to kind of show you guys here because I, I figure that most people probably don't know what it looks like to actually edit a video. So in a nutshell, basically, this is all the video footage here um, along this main line here. And then you'll see these here, which are the voiceovers. And then we have music down here. Six different videos, Seattle, Embarkation, Juno. Each one of those is like a 20 to 30 minute vlog. And those are there's two out right now. And then they're all coming out on Sundays. So all the way through the end of the year, every Sunday, there'll be a new vlog video. Um, but in those videos, each one of these videos has like different segments and stuff like that. So the one I was just looking at here was like the Starbucks Reserve Roastery that we did when we were in Seattle. This entire video is like 25 minutes long, you can see there. Um, and so I'm going through now and pulling out some of these segments so they can be their own videos as well. So a lot of these, if you guys have watched these Alaska videos, you'll see, you'll have seen all these uh, segments, but I'm going to pull them out as their own individual videos too. So that way, if people are searching for, you know, Starbucks Reserve Roastery Seattle, they don't have to watch the whole 25 minute video or try and find it in there. So it kind of uh, is a double use for the the work, you know, all the work that goes into making these videos. And <laughs> in January, when you see all these videos get uploaded, and you're like, uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen all this. What's going on here? That's why I do separate videos as well. Well, this girl didn't nap. It's like mid afternoon, late afternoon. I just snacked on some sweet potato fries we had from and me, and yesterday. Me, me. Yeah, you're on your bike. <laughs> and I'm watching my favorite show, Superstore. Tyler's working out downstairs. We're, what, did I get all over my sleeve? Oh boy. Uh, but he's working out downstairs and then I'm going to work out after him. My legs are really, really tired though. So I might do just like an arm and ab thing or something like that, we'll see. Okay, day one, 30 minute workout, done. Only 30 days to go. <laughs> I am counting. We are counting on you guys, keeping us accountable, making sure we do it every day. We'll try and vlog it every day, make sure that we uh, show you that we did what we said we were gonna do. But also, you guys should join too. So if you guys join in our little workout challenge, please let us know. So. Can you, I'm just getting mad. Can you get that <laughs> recipe binder down? Yes, I can. But what I was saying is that everyone should join in our workout challenge and let us know if they're doing it. Uh, yeah, I would wanna know and maybe that will actually make me want to stick to it. Right. <laughs> okay, now it's my turn. Like I said, I'm not really like vibing on doing like a cardio. I've done a lot of cardio in the past week. So I think I'm just gonna do like an arm workout of some kind, like maybe a YouTube video. And I really feel like listening to Hamilton. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna put my headphones in, listen to Hamilton and then like mute a YouTube video for like an arm and ab workout. We'll see what I find. So burned a decent amount of calories and I did my 30 minutes. So there you go, just arms and abs and some squats. And it's funny when I was originally trying to lose weight, like after having Gigi a few years ago, that first like year and a half, all I was doing was cardio. Cause I was thinking like, this is what I need. I just need to lose the weight, but I'd kind of let strength training go like doing anything with weights or even just doing body weight workouts. And I realized I'm like, that's what I've been missing because you still burn calories that way, but it helps strengthen you. And I feel like 
when I'm running all of the time, it's great for me, but it's also important to strengthen my muscles so that they can handle running all the time too, in my opinion. So obviously I'm not a, you know, take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt because I don't know that much about fitness, but I know myself and my body. So I'm glad to kind of be getting back into that the past few months. And I do feel like it's starting to make a difference, which is nice. Miss Gigi here is eating dinner. What do you have for dinner tonight, Gigi? Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese, what else? Spaghettios. What are those? Um, hummus. Hummus and and what? Vectors. Yeah, and then what you got here? Are they berries? Yeah. Strawberries and blueberries. You got quite a good meal here, girl. Yeah. And Pinocchio says, "Well, where's my meal?" <laughs> I'm very hungry. So for every single article you find telling you not to make home day dog food, you'll find one that says it's the best thing in the world. So we just do half and half. We do store-bought dog food. So whatever it is that they're doing at the dog food factory that supposedly is really good for dogs, we have that. And then, so we kind of figure it's the best of both worlds with us also making homemade dog food. Um, and I can see if I can link the recipe we use for uh, homemade dog food. It, we, we make a huge bunch at a time, mix like four quarts at a time. He loves it though. He, he literally is just obsessed with this food because sometimes he would kind of take or leave the dry food that we bought. But now that we do this, he's just ravenous every time we feed him. Um, By the way, this is what those little twinkle lights look like on. <laughs> they, you can either turn them just on or you can turn them on to where it goes through different things like you just saw and so or just off but the nice thing is it does have a built-in timer so it'll be on for six hours once you turn it on and then it'll be off for 18 and it'll automatically come on so that is nice because this garland i got a really good deal on because these can be like weirdly expensive right i got a good deal on it like after christmas last year but there were no pre-lit ones so i was like well i bet i can just find something to weave through it because again this is a garland that actually did have lights in it but it broke a long time ago but i was like well the garland is fine so we just kind of weaved it through, so that is pretty nice. Alrighty, for dinner tonight, this is our sesame beef tacos. We make these probably every other week, maybe more like once a month, but I don't know. I feel like I vlog about them all the time, but they are, if you've, <laughs> I don't even know how to talk about these. They're so good. Hold on. So we have this recipe in PDF form, like this format. If you want it, you can print it on, it's on Tyler's site, but we can link it in the description box. These tacos are not like the classic taco seasoning. There's no taco seasoning in it at all. It's a very different taste, but they're so good. <laughs> you guys, they're so good. So good. They're like sweet and savory. Um, you can kick up like heat if you want, like if you want it to be super spicy, but so many of you guys, I've gotten hundreds of comments from you guys trying it and saying, holy moly, I'm never going back to the original taco meat recipe ever again. I'm like, I know, like it's just, it blew me away when I tried it last year. And anyway, so I wanted to share it. That's what I'm making tonight. It is super fast. So we've got some wine I poured for myself and then <laughs> uh, it calls for sriracha and sesame oil, soy sauce and sugar, but we do need some garlic powder and then uh, some sesame seeds. Where are those? We have these in alphabetical order, but it's not as organized as it seems. Some of it just gets all messy. Where they are, there they are. And then I get a lot of questions about this pan. This was sent to me, but I have been using it so much the past few months. It is the Our Place pan that like does everything. It's got like a steamer basket, this, that, and the other. I just love it. And so I'm gonna cook the meat in it because literally clean up, I just like pour it out and it's like Whoa. We also need some tortillas and then some like shredded cheese if we want any on there. We'll get a tomato to cut up because I love tomatoes on there. Sliced black olives. Oh my gosh. I just love black olives in general, but on tacos that like totally amps it up for me. All right. So we've got all of our toppings here that we tend to like. And then we've got our meat and I just tasted it and it is so good. I've got some tortillas in a little tortilla warmer in here so those are good to go and yeah tyler just gave Gigi a bath and we are gonna have some dinner oh sweet noki boy he said i'm cuddled up so we've got ours ours look pretty different actually mine look like pizzas <laughs> You have a lot of olives. I love olives so much, you guys. It, it's a deep, deep, deep love. I don't know what they're saying. They're just That's different, true. different amounts I always of put my sour cream at the bottom like a weirdo, but actually it's not weird because then you can spread it and then everything will just kind of stick to it. I didn't mean to do it. Because glopping it on it. top, I'm I like, know, I can't I spread it evenly. So we, it's only 7.30 and we're already so I'm tired. ready to go to bed, guys. <laughs> I know. I think it's, I mean, again, as I mentioned earlier in the video, we didn't really sleep super well and... So I think we are literally going to watch maybe an episode of Bob's Burger. We just watched the newest episode of Superstore while we yeah. ate dinner. 
Oh, I just love it. We it's also have so two freaking America's much. Funny Some Videos. We got like three new Bobs, which is unheard of. Bob's we always Burgers. watch like as soon as it comes out. Uh, there's some family guys. So we'll see. We're going to watch yeah. like maybe one more episode of something and go to bed. We've also been on a kick, and I am sure we will talk about this so much in future Vlogmas Psy, but uh, of playing like Bananagrams or Phase 10 or like cards at night. And so yeah. I don't know. I might be too tired to even do that. Yeah, I think I am too. Yeah. So Log we're talking about. Logmas Psy. Logmas Psy. But the, the the song what's that? Uh, Why not? So Russ all they want for Christmas are two front teeth. Oh yeah, yeah. Vlog Miss Cute, that's cute. You nailed it. You did nail it. Title of the vlog: Vlog Vlog Miss Day One. Vlog Miss. The Sussuses. biggest challenge will be <laughs> spelling that in any way that makes any sense to anyone. I'm like I'm not gonna watch that. Yeah. What they, vlog Miss Cussuses? What the heck is that? <laughs> but they'll read it differently. It'd be like Vlog Miss. Well, actually, that anyway. <laughs> Oh, That's boy, exactly we're trailing. I, I know, I know, I know. We love you guys so much. Thank you guys. Oh, so don't forget, go subscribe to Tyler's channel, because tomorrow's vlog, day two, for Vlogmas, will be on his channel. We're going every other day. Did we say that earlier? I, don't, I didn't. Did you? Me either. Every other day, we'll be on each other's channel, if that makes yeah. sense. So day one's here. I edit the ones there. for her channel, and then she edits no. one. No. Wait, no. <laughs> but that way, we're not both editing, or one of us is not editing every single vlog every single day. So we do, I edit one, then she edits one, and then I edit one. <laughs> I was, really so just I was really just trying to find a better angle for me. This is this is really good for me. So How's that what for I you? do. <laughs> anyway, yeah. so we love you guys. Go subscribe to Tyler Travels TV. And watch the Alaska videos. Yes, because they are insanely And I hope you really like awesome. them. And if you don't, don't tell me, because it'll just make me sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel that deep in my bones. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.